individual building block is capable of exerting a reactive, modulating, monopolar energy field on other blocks, allowing the replicators to assemble themselves into many forms. To our knowledge, the interior of each block contains the following. Two million isolated Chiron pathways. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's a Chiron? In simplest terms, it is an energy particle. I, I've never even heard of it. Yes, I am aware. Well, how am I supposed to help figure out how to defeat a Chiron-based technology if I don't even know what a Chiron is? The Asgard would never invent a weapon that propels small weights of iron and carbon alloys by igniting a powder of potassium nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur. Okay, I get your point. We cannot think like you. Okay. Let's forget about the Chirons and try to put this in terms that I can understand. Each block is like its own individual computer, capable of communicating with the other blocks. Um, Multiple blocks come together to form bugs and other things in order to perform various tasks, ultimately for the purpose of replicating. Correct. I guess you don't keep any replicators around for study. It is too dangerous. Of course, that would be stupid, just out of curiosity. Could say, oh, I don't know, two of the individual blocks replicate? It requires several blocks working together to make new blocks. It's good to know. It's virtual? Wow, it looks real. Wow! It will simulate any behavior we have observed. What is your current thinking process? Sorry, my mind was wandering for a second there. You were thinking about the humans on your planet. Yes. Colonel O'Neill is a very capable human. Yes, I know, but these things are... If we are able to stop the invasion of my world, I promise we will do all we can to help yours. That's a pretty big if. Would you like sustenance? Yes. Thank you. I'm starving. I like the yellow ones. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs>